You got that? Sounds like a plan. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut this first one. And then when we start putting them down, what we'll do is with two of us, we'll get a couple uh, two-by-fours that are about five foot long. And we can put them back underneath there, and then we can kind of pull them out. In other words, we'll have to take all these up. So we'll lay a couple two-by-fours in there for now. And then, <laughs> I know because I had to figure out how to do this. <laughs> So, and we'll just kind of pull them out as we put the plywood down. So, I'll cut a piece, a couple of pieces like five foot long that we can lay across here. And then we'll put, we'll do it at the same, we'll pull these up. Lay those two pieces in there and then pull these pieces up. And then kind of hold them down as we put the plywood in there. And then we'll pull them out as we lay it down. Sounds good. Alright Jim, what's the plan for today? 86 and 70. Hang on just a second. Middle of calculations? Yeah. Okay, plans today. Cut this piece in. Get the PEX run back to where the heater is going to be. The floor will be all done. Then we're going to start on one end and we're going to start putting the walls up. How fun! Start putting all the walls up. And uh, probably we'll start at the back, and there'll be three-quarter finished, I believe it's birch, um, it's what they'll be, so they'll be good and strong to attach anything to. We'll glue the fire out of them and screw them to these rails that we have right here. Just going to attach them real good. We'll probably, instead of screwing them, we'll probably nail those to these so that we don't have so many holes to fill. What's going on, Debbie? Nothing. Just coming to check on you guys, make sure you're working. Nope, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess if you count this working. This is working planning. So, so as soon as we get that done, then this thing set in, and we'll be in good shape. Looks really good already. I'm gonna put it in in two pieces. I would put it in in one piece, but because of this thing, uh, it would be better to put it in in two pieces.
today is wall day in the bus. Going to be putting the walls on, getting all the wiring situated. So more recently, just installed this outlet right here. Uh, the chest freezer is going to go right here. So we have the 110 and I'm adding a 12 volt system uh, just to keep the the fridge cool, for example, help ventilate. So the way that this is set up, you can see where the tape is, where the fridge is gonna go, the chest freezer. The vent is gonna be right here. I'm thinking about installing a computer fan to keep uh, circulation going through that. So just keeping that there, I'm gonna run it to the power supply. Uh, that's gonna be over here in the middle. That's where all the breakers are gonna be, the inverter. Everything leads back to there. You can kind of see, it's a little bright, but you can see all these wires right here. Basically everything from the bus is leading to this point. What I'm doing right now is just going through and double checking all the wiring. Did the same exact thing over here. So this is where uh, the magic shift, that 10.1 cubic uh, foot refrigerator is gonna go right here. Thinking about installing some sort of 12 volt fan system for that as well, because you're supposed to have both sides of the fridge open, but this is gonna be a pantry space. This is going to be a divider from the desk. So I was thinking about maybe putting some sort of vents underneath and two computer fans, you know, that could possibly push air that way and then have a vent in the back that'll allow cool air from the floor to come up and run along the back of the fridge to keep it cool and ready to go. I do believe that I have all the wiring done. Uh, it's just kind of sitting through here late last night. I just was sitting looking at all the placements, trying to figure out what needs to go where, making sure that everything's done before we put the walls up because the wall material is not cheap and it's just a ton of time. Like if you have to take the walls down, especially if the cabinets are built on it, like it's just a huge pain. So this is just a very pivotal point and that's why I'm a little nervous at this point because I've never built anything like this before. You know, Jim has, but at the same time, he didn't do the wiring. So it's me going in, double checking everything, making sure it's good to go just so we don't have to take anything apart later. You know, everything's ran through, you know, like all of the electrical is already in. Worst case scenario, you know, just have to label everything and make sure that even if it's not used for its original purpose, like everything's ran, like I said, but even if, you know, we have to deviate, if I'm able to label everything and show where they go, that I can go in, uh, play around, make things work later on, because that's, what all this is, you know, it's just a blank canvas where you're just taking something that's not meant to be a home and just installing everything that is a home. And that's, that's obvious, but it wasn't until I did this build that I truly understood the process of that, like how complicated that actually is. Like you just think, oh yeah, we'll throw that in there, we'll throw that in there. But if you do something as intricate as this build, as complicated and, you know, just intensive as this build, you know, things just add up quick and you got all these different components. Like for example, uh, so we're putting the walls up and the walls are gonna go all the way up to here. And then we're gonna put a little divider piece from whatever uh, ceiling material I use. But with that in mind, the wiring harness, the way that it is right now, how I connected it to get home, it doesn't have enough flex. It doesn't have enough room to get all the way up there. So right now what I've been doing this morning with the Home Depot, grabbed cutting blades for the wood, but I also grabbed more wire, more uh, twist ties to splice all the wires together. So I'm going through one at a time just to give this more slack. You know, it's just one of those things that I didn't think about when I was doing it first where that wiring harness, it goes all the way down. It's gonna have to go up there. And then I'm also keeping all this open. Uh, you know, and basically the piece of wood that's gonna cover this is gonna be removable. So at any point, if I wanna run anything from the front to the back, which with new technology, as things develop, as this, you know, as this bus continues along in the road and decide, want something, don't want something, take something out, add something to it, I'm building this bus to be a home for 10, 15 years. That, that's the goal, that's what I wanna do with this bus. So as things develop, I wanna be able to add different aspects to the bus and that's why having this accessible run from the front to the back that can be removed just with a couple screws. You know, have the wiring harness, be able to run the lights. You know, you ended up using speaker wire for the lights, gotta splice all these and run those back to the power 
Um, so yeah, just getting everything ready. So today is going to be all about getting the walls on. It's gonna be a big step, because once the walls go on and the cabinets go on, I think I got some paint figured out, got a uh, countertop, which is pretty cool. Maybe I'll show you in this video, maybe it might be in the next video. So things are really starting to come together. Just getting a little nervous, just hoping everything gets done right.